For TraderInsight.com, I'm Adrian Manns, and I would like to have a look at one of my favorite first-hour trading strategies. This one is called Baltimore Chop, and you have probably read about it in Around the Horn, A Trader's Guide to Consistently Scoring in the Markets, or I've also written on this one in uh, Active Trader Magazine and uh, a couple of other journals over the years. But basically, we are looking for a two-standard deviation gap of volatility so we're not doing anything like uh, the usual 2SD bands that you see on charts these are volatility bands much more similar in nature to the volatility bands that we use in the scalper strategy than they are to anything else but we're looking at volatility and we have trade stations set up to automatically scan for these and sort them in radar screen so if you have trade station uh, and you have that indicator pack that we use for the around the horn strategies then you're a step ahead of the game and it's very very easy because it's automated it finds them for you all you need to do is flip through uh, the charts in the morning and then you see all the two SD gaps and of course what you're looking to do is fade these on a reversal now this morning in the room uh, in the war room we had a trade in H&R block that a couple people wanted to get a video on and uh, just sharpen up their skills a little bit so why don't we do that this is uh, the H&R block opening gap this was far and away the nicest of these this morning since it pulled in gave us a very deep pullback and then reversed and let's take a look at how that trade uh, was entered and how it was handled once the position was established here you see on the open that we have this gap higher right we open right here around $31.96 HRB tries to push higher and then of course your first entry opportunity comes on a violation of that 3196 opening tick and we get a nice move down all the way to $31.56 a 40 cent move on the opening tick violation now let's say you miss that one let's say you're not so sharp and frosty very first thing in the morning and you are looking for a pullback entry which is the standard or the easier way to get into these right this requires very very quick order execution and some good order handling skills and when we get this move higher we have a whole other set of opportunities right in front of us so now we are looking at this tick the closing tick of 3232 in this bar that makes a high and then the next bar the very next bar goes and trades down through that now the specific question that the subscriber in the war room had was how do you set the profit target on something like this what are you looking for in terms of uh, where you think the stock is going to stop its downward momentum well the first logical place to use as a profit target is that opening tick so that gives you a 36 cent first target on the trade and your second target is down at 3156 the low of the morning it's frustrating for some people to hear this but I have to say a lot of where you're going to look to target is going to depend on your temperament some people are going to see this 3196 level and say that when it hits there they want to get out and look for another opportunity and other people are much more patient and want to see if a downtrend can establish itself and possibly get down into 3156 or all the way down into 3101 this very first uh, level of pivot support in either case the logic is good it's just important that you know why you're doing something and what your contingency plans are going to be if something goes wrong so you want to have stops in place and you want to have your rule based trading in place when you get 50 percent of the distance to the target for example start ratcheting down stops and of course don't let a nice open profit evaporate or worse yet become a loss so again this strategy is made far far simpler if you are using TradeStation and the scanning tool to find the opportunities that will definitely get you in front of a bunch of these very quickly in the morning we also talk about the ones that we are actually going to trade in the war room so we sort through that list for you one way or another what you're looking for is two standard deviations of the volatility that can be expected in the stock over the course of a session and then a mean reverting move that fades that volatility expansion if you have any questions just shoot me an email at adrian at traderinsight.com hope you had a great trading day and have a good one tomorrow